hi guys welcome back to my channel um so recently i was you know on youtube like i do and i've been really into watching um john mulaney videos and like nick kroll videos but just their interviews <laughs> um i don't know why but i was watching an interview i think with the both of them and i think john mulaney made a joke about cutco and so that joke for some reason just brought back all these memories about um my experience with cutco which is only one but one was enough uh so in this video i'm going to explain be explaining um how i almost fell for a pyramid scheme <laughs> know what Cutco is basically it's an organization that sells knives so you have a, a plethora of knives to cook with and Cutco sells every single knife you could ever want in your life um, the point of Cutco, Cutco is you are it's like Avon or like Mary Kay cosmetics it's like that kind of so you buy um, stock you buy stock with your own money first and then you sell that stock um but essentially you're not really making any money and it's um a terrible investment uh so my freshman year of college i was i went to school at bowling green university in ohio um i went there because at the time i wanted to be a journalism major and Bowling Green offered a pop culture major. So I thought I wanted to be a writer for like Seventeen Magazine or something like that. So I was going to major in journalism and minor in pop culture. So that's why I went to that school. Um, that year was really hard for me. My grandfather who raised me, um, I don't have parents, my grandfather raised me. He passed away that year. Well, he, I started in 2016, he passed away in 2017, but like, right, my, the beginning of the semester, the spring semester. So he passed away, it was really hard on me, I was really depressed. Um, and part of my coping mechanism is that I will completely shut myself off from everyone else. I won't talk to anyone. I won't contact anyone, like, and I wasn't, I was in a different state. I'm from New York, so I was in a different state. I was eight hours away from home. Um, and I just stayed in Ohio that entire summer because I was sad and I didn't know what else to do. Um, so I was in Ohio and my first job that I tried to get was at Cutco. I literally had no money. So it was in it was the, you go for like a seminar for them, excuse me, to explain, like it's like a workshop to explain what's expected of you. So I had a certain amount of money. I literally used like the end of my money to get to this um, um, like workshop thing to Cutco. And it was like 20 minutes away from where I was living at the time. So it was like expensive and, and a hassle. And I thought, because I was 19 at the time, I thought that I was going to go there and get a job and that's going to be it and then I'll be set, I'll have a job and I'll be able to make more money. That's what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> because um, I have like an Indeed account. Um, if you don't know what Indeed is, it's like where you go online to look for jobs. So I have an Indeed account and I think that um, Cutco contacted me for the job and that's why I was like, perfect. They want me, I need money, I'm going to work for Cutco. Needless to say, I did not work for Cutco. Um, oh my God, it's so stupid. It's just, this isn't, I don't think this is that entertaining of a story. It's just like, I was so stupid. I was such a stupid 19 year old and I just want other people to not be stupid. So if Cutco contacts you, if Mary Kay tries to get you, if Avon tries to get you, do not work for those companies. 
you can get another like a job somewhere else that is better and like <sighs> won't make you waste all your money so I didn't have a car I was stuck in Ohio and I had to buy an uber or something to get from where I was living to the workshop so I spent all day most of the day at the workshop I don't think we were fed and they were explaining to us like the pyramid like you work up from the starting point onward whatever um but I thought that I was just once I got there that was it I was gonna be I'm this is my job now well no uh I left there broke um I think I I think I, like, I didn't have a way to get home because I Ubered there, so I think I had to, like, call my aunt for extra money so I could get an Uber to go home. Um, it was awful. The lady who was talking to us was, like, really peppy and happy, and it was, like, kind of freaking me out. Um, so, yeah, this story was not entertaining. Just don't work for Cutco. Don't get caught up in pyramid schemes. Um... I never worked for Mary Kay or uh, Avon, but I did buy makeup from Mary Kay, and I shouldn't have because it was expensive. Um, that summer, I actually ended up getting a job at Wendy's. That was Wendy's is my first uh, fast food place I ever worked at, and hopefully, it will be my last. Uh, no, no disrespect to anyone who works at a fast food restaurant. Um, but anyone who has worked at a fast food restaurant knows that it sucks. It's terrible working conditions. The people there suck um, and it sucks. So the job I have now is like fantastic and I love it. Um, I get paid very well. It's a good job. So if you're 19 and you're looking for a job, don't work at Cutco. That's my story time. Now I'm smarter. I'm older and I'm smarter. So don't buy from Cutco. Just buy a knife from the dollar store. It's fine. Thanks for watching.